Hello guys, this is Hobo, back with another game of Little War Game. I'm going to cast another one of the games from the tournament. In today's episode, we're going to be covering Invictus vs. Rorks. In the top left, we have Invictus. In the bottom right, we have Rorks playing blue. This is Sylvan Charm. I'm going to catch you guys early this time. If you like the video, please leave a like. Comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Uh, if you really like it, consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, let's see what's going on here. And Quick House from Rurks, I think he's probably going to go uh, Fast Expansion Den or One Den into an expansion. We see a standard house coming up from Invictus, getting ready for a wall. He's probably taking that base fairly quickly. I'm guessing he's going to play Rax this time. I hope we're all having a wonderful day. Some discussion for the tournament. And sure enough, there's a wolf den coming down from Rurks. Rorks isn't too used to the AA4. He's definitely a bit rusty. Again, Rex coming up from Invictus. I did not watch this game ahead of time, 2 den from Rorks. So he's going fairly aggressive. That should be able to deal with Invictus's raider fairly well. I'm curious to see when he texts to either Sneak or Dragon. Got a worker up here from Invictus. Questioning life is going back and forth. Let's call him Bob. Bob the Worker. First unit on field is a wolf from Rurks. It's going out to scout. It's gonna intercept the uh, raider. Probably up here. If not, get there before the raider's done. Still no expansion from Invictus. Uh, I don't know where all of his money is put right now. Oh. Oh, I see. So, what Invictus has done here, I definitely do not suggest. Don't queue something up when it still has like 50% left to build. It's just wasted money floating in the queue. It would have been better for him to hold on to that money and get the second base instead to get his economy going. And then, as it's about to finish, queue in the next worker, queue in the next raider. This raider is just going to have a bad day if he walks into this. One raider cannot take on four wolves. He might be able to kill one wolf and then blink away. We do see an expansion coming from him, but Invictus just doesn't have the troops to deal with the two-den opening. Rex is now getting one worker more to, than needed to saturate that base, probably planning on expanding soon. Uh, he's doing a great job at knocking supply block, but it looks like he's about to get there. But he's saving up for the expansion. The tower's a good move on uh, Invictus' part. That was not as good of a move. He should have pulled back a little bit. Uh, that's going to be a free kill. That's going to be unfortunate. Ooh, saved it. Nice job, Invictus. So, at this point... If you go for an aggressive build, like 2 den opening, you want it to deal damage. If it doesn't deal enough economy damage, then it wasn't worth it. In this case, I don't think Rorks did enough damage with that. So it puts Invictus at a slight edge right now. If you look at material loss, uh, Rorks did lose more than he got out of that. And you'll see with the income difference, it does put Invictus at a slight lead. How much of a difference that's going to make in the long run, we'll still have to see. Uh, still not much of an army on Rourke's side. And Invictus should not be scouting with his injured raider. He should leave that one back behind to uh, heal. If he had sent his good one forward instead, at least both of them want to be at usable health to attack with. A third castle going down for Rurks in the bottom corner there. He's realized that he messed up with the early game aggression and he needs to make it up 
in terms of economy, so he has to go greedy to make up for it. He just has to hope that Invictus doesn't scout that. Invictus should really be getting some more production going at this point. And also, he did the wall again. This wall... It can be okay. The tower is better over here, defends more. And yes, it stops Rurks from flooding into his base, but at the same time, it stops him from flooding out of his base or flooding in to try to defend himself. We see a nice jump across the cliff over here from Invictus. Now, does Rurks panic? Rurks does panic to try to deal with it, pulls way too many workers away. He did not need to take all of them out at once, and he's not going to finish the sneak charm for a little bit now, as he's too distracted trying to micro. The worker is going over to fix that now. Uh, Invictus is now taking his third base. Just about done. That's a sad loss on uh, Invictus's part, for sure. But um, Rurks' army is a bit spread out here. We've got three wolves here, three wolves there, two up there. Uh, it's good sending some workers up top to split that up evenly. So, economically speaking, they should be having similar income right now. Yep, you can see that. Uh, at this point, neither player is really in the lead. It's fairly even. I suppose Invictus might have a larger army in terms of strength. But, and slightly more worker count. But we do see a ninja coming out from Rurks, which could be interesting if not scouted. Invictus doesn't do a lot of scouting from what I've seen. Scouting with three wolves, checking to see if there's a fourth base, which would definitely be a bit early. Upgrades going from Invictus. Why he pulled the army back, I am not sure. Again, Invictus needs to get a little bit more production going. He only has two barracks right now. No tech from Rurks yet. We do see the range upgrade on its way, and... Just like Rurks, Invictus' army is a bit spread out. Two archers in his uh, natural... Four units on the ramp over here, which really are doing nothing. I guess he was scared after that game against Vizix that uh, wolves would get in via that house. He should be using this raider to scout right now. Again, it's his units are just sitting there, doing absolutely nothing. Uh, meanwhile, we do see a fourth and a fifth den coming out on Rourke's part. He's going to have the production to surpass these numbers quite easily. I wonder what this worker's... two workers are doing? What? Indeed, there are two workers there, it says. Wow. Bob must be jealous. So he's setting them up this way. Uh, I would suggest that Rooks gets a tower here. That way, if this ninja is discovered, it won't die immediately. Priest coming on the way of Invictus. I would say he should worry more about getting his fourth instead of tech for the moment, especially since he hasn't scouted to see what Rurks has going. For all he knows, there's about to be five dragons pouring into his natural, but he is getting towers to try to stop that. Really, he should be getting a tower up here too if he's gonna tower instead of try to defend with Ballista. I'm gonna see another scout from Invictus here with the raider. Yep, right now Rurks is scouting all of the uh, places in case there's a ninja expand. Meanwhile, Rurks has been scouted. Invictus does know that there are no dragons right now or on their way. But he might have seen part of that army over there, which could be disastrous for him. That raider is dead. Yep, another missed micro on Invictus' part, unfortunately. Another free raider kill for Rurks. He didn't even see the bulk of this army. Oh hey, 
Invictus is actually moving his army away in a giant ball. If he's gonna try to attack it like this, move it slightly closer, it'd be like slightly more efficient. And again, this is where his wall becomes an issue. Go single file out. Just imagine his entire army over here bottlenecked. Two fireballs. Straight up. Yeah. He wouldn't like that. Anyways. Let's see here. He's getting ready to take a base up here. I am just waiting for Invictus to see the ninja base in his top right corner. His reaction will be amusing, to say the least. And Rux is going to scout the movement over here. Does Invictus see this worker? Nope. No reaction from Rourke's main army to deal with this. The upgrade difference is currently 3 upgrades to 0 upgrades in uh, Invictus's favor. Uh, unit count, I would say, is still in Invictus's favor. But in terms of raw production, uh, actually 5 barracks to 4 den and 1 werewolf den. Invictus is about matched with Rook's reproduction. Ooh. The surround is gonna be fairly deadly if he can get it off. So he did do healing wards, ineffectively. Uh, Invictus doesn't have enough soldiers in here, so his archers are just gonna be eaten away. We do see some scouting from Invictus over here. Scouting the wrong corner, unfortunately. I advise this poor army. Yep, that's fairly deadly. Now, if you look at the gold spent right now, Invictus is close to a thousand gold floating. Rex was up to almost 500 for a point there. Uh, what's unfortunate is if Invictus was watching that, he just saw that Rex does have werewolves. He should be getting mages right now to counter those werewolves. That's if he saw them at least. Uh, something important to note. Uh, Rux has had that fourth base a lot longer than Invictus. If you look at the gold mine, it doesn't seem to be a huge difference right now, but gold per minute is a difference of 600. Which will go into uh, Rux's favor quite soon. Also, gold loss for 800 more on um, Invictus is part of the this micro. Rux is also catching up on the upgrades. We only have one upgrade going right now for Invictus. Lots. Ah. Uh, the Sim City, I want to say, is beautiful. This is a case where uh, Invictus's wall is actually going to do something nice. I applaud it. Those workers are cannon fodder. I would say that was a mistake. Invictus could definitely have held without sending his workers off to die. But. Sim City. At least there's plenty of room for everyone to walk. Is Bob okay? Looks up. Yep, at this point, Rex can afford to lose his army. He can just replace it fairly quickly. He's getting a fifth base. This one's still not scouted. Rex definitely lost more than Invictus there, but. It slows down Invictus' progress in expanding because now he's to rebuild his army before he goes out somewhere else. Rebuilding the tower! I still disagree with it, but... Healing the workers does not seem to be a priority. How about the two archers that are in yellow and red health, respectively? Three kills. Ooh, mage with fireball? From Invictus? All I can see is friendly damage, but they removed Fireball from dealing damage to friendly units. Uh, we're still rocking four bases for Invictus and five for Rurks. 
about 100 gold left in each mine. Uh, workspace actually is out of gold in one of his mines. Let's hope that Invictus sees this train of workers heading up top. Works should pull out of that, yep. Works actually did catch up an upgrade. 2 2 to 3 1. He should be running from this. So then these wolves out this way and down, these guys down this way. Just a slaughter. Ooh, so Invictus does see that train of workers heading up to the top, but it doesn't look like... it looks like he's sending these guys to go deal with that. Werewolf, uh, snake drop. Fairly effective. Invictus has scouted the ninja up here and is now trying to kill it. He failed a tower rush against it. This army, uh, I think that army will be able to take it, depending on how Invictus uses his spells. This reminds me of a scene from Jaws. Da 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 da. I would say Invictus should have sent fireballs heading down this way, damaging the wolves. He wants to get rid of the meat shield so that snakes can melt. Not a lot of damage done with these soldiers that should have been down here helping. Uh, we do see reinforcements coming from Invictus, and it looks like the 4th and 5th base of Works is about to die. He should be taking one of the bases over here and to make up for that. He is going to push to try to deal damage back to the next one. Uh, this mine's about to run out. He has no workers on this mine. He left that one for to avoid the drop. He should be pulling back and defending against that instead of trying to finish off this castle. Keep three soldiers, three archers to kill that. And he doesn't even finish it. These workers are about to die. I was going to say for a minute there that uh, this game was definitely Invictus's, but he seems to be sliding behind a little bit. A uh, decent fireball does do quite a bit of damage. There goes all of these workers. When this mine runs out, if he forgets about this mine up here, he's going to send them all over to this mine. Uh, I'm guessing that when this gold mine runs out, he's going to call game forgetting about this mine. I can't be sure of that, of course, but pulling out in this situation would be a good idea. He needs to send it over to the side. This is a good note for beast play. When you're attacking an enemy, you don't need to move your entire army to surround them better. You can select a portion of them. That way, the ones in the front line can still be attacked. But, as this army streams in, it could kill him this. He does send workers back here. This mine is empty. He is going to stream them towards the front. He needs to push with this army. He needs to take this army and kill Rux's base if he wants to win. He doesn't know how many bases Rux has right now. Uh, when was the last time he scouted? A long time ago. This army is going to melt away. This, again, he needs to not worry about defending that and instead kill his natural while taking a mine in the left side there. These castles are going to defend Let's look one more time at upgrades. Upgrades are now definitely in uh, Rook's favor with 4-3 versus 2-4 for one and the upgrade. This army is going to die. It's going to be able to help surround this if he pulls these out. Rook should be pulling these guys back, rallying them over to here so that they can get us around on the archer priests. It seems he's going to do that. He's going to force them off the front. Come back around the side. He needs to send them to intersex. The 
this wolf is going to die for nothing. Apparently nothing being produced for Invictus. The question I have for Invictus is why did he take this mine instead of either of these two, which are much safer to expand to and much easier to defend. You don't have to move your army about a third across the map just to defend her. He's gonna see these workers heading back to mine and there's nothing he can do. And game will be points. Good game from both players. It looked like a very close game. Uh, for a while there was either side and there was a lot of back and forth. I was not expecting that really. I was thinking this was just a 10 minute game, but nope, proven wrong. Good game from both players. There's one more I'm going to be casting tomorrow, uh, also Invictus vs. Works, I believe it is on Xeno. It is the next game in the tournament. I hope you guys look forward to it and enjoy.